What's up, folks? It's your boy Bob Hollywood with another episode of Bob's Holly World. Today I'm reviewing this Marvel Infinite series, Sandman. This is for ages 4 plus. This is made by Hasbro, licensed from Marvel. Uh, we're trying this around. Let's look for the year 2014. And he has a bio, it's in several different languages, but I'm going to read the one that's in English. And because I speak English, career criminal William Baker can shape shift his body to clobber anyone in his way. So, yeah, this is a Spider-Man villain, and uh, yeah, he has gigantic stone hand shaped like a mace, and then a gigantic stone hand shaped like a hand, it's just gigantic. And not stone sand, but you know what I meant. Um, at the bottom, there are three other figures. It says, also look for Marvel's Beast, Marvel's Hawkeye, and Daredevil. I think that's the Daredevil I have. I should have been prepared. I have two Daredevils. I think that's the Daredevil. That's definitely the Daredevil I have. And uh, yeah, this guy is pretty cool. Bought this from Big Bad Toy Store. No clearance. No complaints. Very easy. This one's easy to get out of me. He has this, uh, this, uh, that. Like string mix. Sometimes these are hard to get out. Sometimes they're easy. I know like Hyperion, which I did a review for just minutes ago. Whether were they get posted anytime similar, I don't know. But Hyperion was definitely more difficult to get out of his box. Which is cool. It's a, I guess, a shoplifting, shoplifting a preventative measure. If it's harder to get out of the packet. People are less likely to steal it because people will hear it or people will stumble across them doing it, which is good. So yeah, here is Sandman. I don't know much about Sandman. I just know he's a, vil a villain of Spider-Man. I like his pants. I'm not going to lie. I like these bell-bottom sort of jeans. Uh, I like his shirt. I just wish his hands could, you know, be switched out for another figure's hands or whatever. But it is what it is. I mean, people, there are human beings with, you know, deformities. He could just be one if he wanted. There is his head, his face. He looks constipated. And confused, like, why does my stomach betray me? He can't hold the stomach, he can only hold his crotch. Single curse of the single jointed elbows, but it is what it is. I like the green sweater, man. This, this, this green on green sweater, or maybe it's green on blue, green on green. This, uh, off color Freddy Krueger shirt, it's obviously skin tight, and uh, I really like the pants. I like his lower portion. I wish. He had two forms of articulation in his waist. If I could just get these pants off, then go on somebody else. I love these pants. And you look at this, look at his fucking shoulders, man. Look at his, he's defined. He's a big dude, man. I don't even think he needs to turn into sand. I mean, there's some paint blemishes on the back of his left arm and on the back of his body, but his pants are good. His, his shoes are good. Just black shoes with peg holes. I like it, man. You can he's, he's, he's got the brush, man. He wears his do-rag at night to keep them waves fresh, man. This dude is the man, man. I'm going to go over his articulation. Because there's really nothing else to say. He's wearing a green on green sweater. He's pretty well painted. He's damn good painted. There's another blemish right there, but he is painted damn well. And this was, again, this is from 2014, so he lasted in his plastic. I don't know, since I already started messing with his arms, that's his crucifixion. Right arm goes up higher than his left arm. His left arm's heavier because of this big old mace fist. And uh, his head rotates 360 degrees. Head came right off, but it goes back on. Rotates 360 degrees. Not much motion other than that because, as you can see, there's no hinge. The Hyperion and Grim Reaper were from the year earlier. They had a hinge. This guy doesn't. Um, his arms rotate 360 degrees. It's going to be hard to get this left arm to stay up. And opposed because it is so heavy. Um, right arm's not giving me any trouble, but this left hand is really heavy. Um, elbow's been a little less than 90 degrees, and they're on this, uh, they rotate 360 degrees. Ab art no hand articulation, um, ab crunch, rotation. And side to side motion. And then his legs go up very not wide very far at all. Go 
up like that. Not a 90 degree angle, but he can have a seat. He can relax. These double jointed knees. He can do just like that. No thigh swivel. But he does have some pretty good foot articulation. It's not going side, it's not going 360 because of his pants. For his right foot, it's, his pants are in the way. Left foot doesn't have the same problem. But it does go back and forth, up and down. Again, right pants leg is a little more restricted than the left pants leg. Now, I'm going to get his height. And then I'm going to compare him to that daredevil in the same line. A little over four and a quarter. Now, I said that because of the year difference that they don't have the neck, uh, same neck as the others. But I'm wrong. This daredevil does have that same neck as the year before. It's just that they choose what they want for each figure. This clearly has a hinge that can go up and down better. This guy doesn't. So, it's just how they chose to make them. I like the shading on this Daredevil. I never reviewed this Daredevil before I um, reviewed toys. I just collected them. Last year, right before I decided to start reviewing toys. So Daredevil's shorter. I don't know what makes them, what goes into what will be in a line. Because you got Beast, who's an X-Men. you got Hawkeye, who's an Avenger. you got Daredevil, who's largely independent and a villain. I don't know how they choose what goes on what line, but... These are cool toys. I like this Sandman. Only thing I would have done different is, like I said, I wish his waist was different right here, separate, so I could put these pants on somebody else. But other than that, no problem. No problem whatsoever. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me let all your homies know where they can find me, B-O-B. -B, and that's right here at Bob's Holly World. I will catch you next time. Thank you.